So I came across an interesting article yesterday, so I thought I may as well record a quick video on it. And basically Woodchurch High School, which is based in Liverpool, North West England, they've actually banned students wearing Canada Goose, Montclair or Pyrenex coats to school. And it's been done as part of a poverty proofing scheme to stop kids who can't afford the more expensive jackets feeling as poor. Now I'm assuming the same rule will apply, so it's not only those three brands, but also other brands. So for example, you couldn't just rock up in some 1K Gucci coat or whatever. But yeah, the point is they basically banned any kind of expensive jackets being worn at school. Now, if you're asking me for my opinion, I think there's so many flaws with imposing a policy like that. But for starters, we're going to look at why the school have actually decided to do so. So firstly, as it says in the title of all the articles, they want the poorer students to not feel as bad about themselves for not being able to afford the more expensive jackets. And then if you read into it a bit more, bullying actually seems to be part of the issue as well. So you're getting a lot of parents to the students who aren't able to afford the more expensive jackets complaining that their child's being bullied. Obviously, we have to take the article's word for it, the parent's word as well because we don't actually know if this is actually happening. I mean, when I went to school, I went to three different schools. No one was ever really bullied for that stuff. It was more like if you were just wearing something, some like crazy boot cut trousers or something mad. But yeah, you didn't really get bullied for the brands you were wearing. So that seems a bit crazy to me. But anyway, those are the two main reasons listed in the article as to why the school's actually gone ahead and put this policy in place. Anyway, judging by the article, the parents of all the students who attend the school seem to be very supportive of the decision they've made. But it did get blown up by various media outlets in the UK. And judging by a lot of the comments under these articles and the comments that were dropped underneath the Instagram post I did yesterday on the topic, it does seem like the general public don't really agree with it. So there are a ton of strong arguments against the policy. One of them was explaining how life just isn't fair, like not everyone's equal. Some people can afford the more expensive things, some can't doesn't really make sense to pad students so they're like in a protected environment because as soon as they leave school for example if they're at work and one of their colleagues has something expensive that they can't afford it's not like their office at work is just going to ban the thing likewise if you're on the road driving a car you might be in a little Vauxhall Astra someone might pull up alongside you in a Ferrari the government aren't just going to ban expensive cars because you can't afford them so in a sense like not only are they just preventing people from wearing what they should technically be allowed to wear because it's their family's money or their money in some cases. But on top of that, it's just kind of being overly protective of the people who can't afford those things, which there's actually nothing wrong with. Because in reality, if you're in high school and you do have an £1,000 jacket, that is excessive um, and it's not the norm, but that doesn't make it wrong or right. Likewise, if you can't afford one of those more pricey jackets, there's nothing wrong with it. Like when I was in school, I had a what £40, £30 jacket which I wore every day for like a whole year it's just normal that's how life is so I don't really feel like it makes sense to put bans on stuff like that from my point of view like if there is a problem with poverty shaming or bullying in the school that probably needs to be tackled from a different viewpoint completely it's not one of those things you can just cover up by saying yeah we're going to put a ban on expensive clothes and that's it you can't wear them in school it may sort out the problem in the gates but these students have lives outside of school as well as soon as you leave school you're with your mates on the weekend or even after school like the whole issue is just going to start again so from my point of view it doesn't really make sense but i'm probably missing out a few things i haven't obviously taken into account every single perspective so if i have missed anything out let me know down in the comments and also let me know what you think of the school's new policy